In the previous tutorial, we used the model items to import all the dimension used to create these models. And as you see, this piston contains a lot of dimensions. And if you want to create them manually, it might take a lot of time and you may miss some dimensions. So we created them with the import items or the imported items model. And we have all the dimensions here. And as you notice, it's fully defined. So this is a very good tool to use, especially with some complicated assemblies like this one. So when you are done with that, you click OK. So now we're going to take go to the next step where we're going to modify the block title. So if you hover over it, you will notice the cursor icon is changed. So that means you are able to to work with the block title. So right click and go to edit sheet format. So your sheet will turn into blue. So double click on the title here and then add the the name you want for example this one drawing then you have chance change size and so on so here the material for example you can edit it and write the steel for example and as well you can modify the date and so on and also you have chance to add some text for example you can click on notes and select the area for example we have the title uh, our engine piston view so we have that text and then you can continue the same way adding the rest of the notes that you want so when you are done editing your block you exit your sheet format 